Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Shemaim, Yid Kadosh is your name, your reign come, your will and desire be done in the Eretz as it is in the Shemaim, the Wada Abba for our daily portion and the belief that we will continue to receive, hallelujah, forgive us our sins, debt, unrighteousness and disbelief. As we forgive those who are sinned, indebted, unrighteous, and disbelieving in us. And lead us not into the hands of Mesa. Deliver us from our adversary. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem. Hallelujah. Through the name of your son, Hosianna, Ariashanal. In your name, hey, yeah, hallelujah, we pray and believe, so be it, so be it. He causes a mist to come up from the mountains, from the Eretz into the Shemaim and brings down the rain, hallelujah. Okay. Shalom, shalom, ponies. Boker tov, sus. Boker tov, sus. Vaikra 21 And Heya said to Moshe, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, No one is to be defiled for the dead among his people, except for his relatives who are nearest to him, for his mother, and for his father, and for his sons, and for his daughter, and for his brother, and for his maiden sister who is near to him. Who has no Asha, or I'm sorry, who has no Ash? For her he is defiled. A leader does not defile himself among his people to profane himself. They do not make any bald places on their heads, and they do not shave the corner of their beard, and they do not make cutting in their flesh. They are Yith Kadosh to their Shepherd, and do not profane the name of their Melech Ha'olim, for they bring offerings of Heya made by fire, and the bread of their Abba, their shepherd, and shall be Yit Kadosh. They do not take an Asha who is a whore or, defi or a defiled Asha, and they do not take an Asha put away from her Ash, for he is Yit Kadosh to his shepherd and you set him apart for he you yit kadosh him for he brings the bread of your maleka olim he is kadosh to you for i hey ya am yit and setting you apart i am yit kadosh And when a daughter of any priest profanes herself by whoring, she profanes her father. She is burned with fire. And the high priest among his brothers, on whose head the anointing oil was poured, and who is established to wear the garments, does not unbind his head, nor tear his garments, nor come near any dead body, nor defile himself for his father or his mother, nor go out of the Yitzkadosh place, nor profane the Yit Kadosh place of his shepherd for the sign of dedication of the anointing of his shepherd is upon him 
I am, hey, yeah. And let him take an Asha in her maidenhood, a widow or one put away, a defiled Asha or a whore. These he does not take, but a maiden of his own people he does take as an Asha. He does not profane his offspring among his people, for I am Heya who sets him apart. Turn the page. And Heya spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, No man of your offspring throughout their generations who has any defect is to draw near or bring the bread of his, of his shepherd, his Meleka Olim. For any man who has a defect is not to draw near. A man blind or one lame or disfigured or deformed, a man who has a broken foot or broken hand, or is a hunchback or a dwarf or a man who has a defect in his eye or eczema or scab or is a eunuch. No man among the offspring of Aaron, the priest, who has defect is to come near to bring offerings made by fire to Heya. He has a defect. He does not come near to bring the bread of his shepherd. He does eat the bread of his shepherd both the most Yit Kadosh and the Yit Kadosh, only he does not go near the veil or approach the altar because he has a defect, lest he profanes my Yit Kadosh place. For I am Heya who sets them apart. Thus Moshe spoke to Aaron and his sons and all the children of Yesharael. Hallelujah. May his word be of our ha to you. May it impress your being. May it be as signs on your hands and all you do. Frontless between your eyes and how you see the world. And may you speak of it when you sit in your house and when you go by the way, and when you lie down and when you rise up. And may the Malek Olim shine his face on you and give you his shalom and your yam and barak your preparation day. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom.